Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, they just zoomed in. Uh, they're looking at the uh, back basin there at Yellowstone. And the steam is really dark. You can see how dirty it is here in the uh, live view of Yellowstone. Oh, uh, yeah. We've had uplift probably an inch in or two inches of uplift lately, which is rather concerning. And I couldn't get my stream view to work. I are, um, IS stream view. I've been spending probably about two hours reinstalling, and I thought I thought that was the problem. But yeah, the data is just not coming in uh, for some reason for IRIS stream view. I can't get the data. Um, I've been having problems with it lately for some reason. Um, it's been connected, but it hasn't been showing the data. Maybe just a few minutes of data. So I don't know if they're del deliberately blocking the data. But here they're going to zoom out. I hope they come out a little bit farther so you can see how dirty this is. This is extremely dirty. Let me pull it over here. There we go. Oh, they moved in. Okay, look at that. Yeah, very dirty. Um, What's happening here is the rock under the ground is being, being heated by the water. And it's melting the rock, which comes up with that steam that you see here. Yeah, very dramatic, very concerning. Yeah, look at over here. Look at this one. Let me move my little mouse right there. Look how dirty that is. And off on the right here. Oh, let me I don't know if they'll tell me. bring it over farther or not. There we go. When I hit it, it went, um, it paused. Do I sound a little excited? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it shouldn't be this dirty. Yeah. So let me show you some data. Um, the University of Utah has changed their map to access the data. Um, I reported that last year, and a lot of people reported it to last year. How they had um, the link was broken because they were making changes. And um, there's some minor earthquakes going on that they're not reporting. But, yeah, this is concerning. I mean, yeah, you can see compared to the snow and this one geyser um, hot pool in the back. It's a little bit lighter, but how dirty this is. So let me show you. This is what I ended up having to uh, resort to. Because for some reason, I'm hoping it's just today. We'll put add source. And I'll go down here to IRIS uh, manual. And it'll give me um, the full list of all the different monitors. But it doesn't matter what site I'm clicking on. I thought maybe it was just Yellowstone. Um, see the red red light? Yeah, it's it's all of them. Um, this whole site is down. So because it's a whole site, I'm hoping maybe tomorrow it will be working. Let me bring this down to find um, Yellowstone. Okay, and we'll just, oh, we'll click on Denny Creek. But when I do that, yeah, everything, I went through them all. You know, horse view is random. Yeah, not working. Um, let me try something else. You can see here, I only got a little bit of data, and we got an earthquake that shows up here for this site, which uh, um, I believe it's horse butte. Yeah, okay. I added western boundary. I got the same thing where it's it's not working. It'd be down here at the bottom, but anyways. I would probably have to leave this window open 24-7. I don't like leaving my computer running 24-7. But you can see we got an earthquake there. I'm going to try and get the Norris Geyser Basin. You can see it's not working. Um, I'm going to click OK and then OK. And I'm going to have to change the settings so that we can see it. If there's anything okay but like i said this has been an ongoing problem i don't know what changes they did Lock censoring you can only monitor what is going on at the time 
you used to be able to go for, um, backwards. Anywhere from two hours to eight hours at a time. But it's not letting you do that anymore. So now you have to go to the um, station map. And it'll show you the different stations here on the right. Let's just click on one of those um, home sale. Go to the live. And see, and this page isn't working. Okay, we'll go back. And I'm going to go to Maple Creek. See what they show. Yeah, just more censoring. Censoring, I hate it. Um, yeah, it's really hard to see what's going on here. I looked at this earlier. We got several earthquakes. Um, magma on the move, rising up. And there was, let me try and make this bigger. Come down. There was another page that did show earthquakes, not here. But those of you that follow me know that I used to download the data. And I could ascertain the size of the earthquakes. We got a little one right here it shows. This one here is Purple Mountain. Yeah, we got the same magma on the move and, and two small earthquakes. All right, this might be Holmes Hill. Let's yeah, see that dad. That's the one that I want to show you the data, and it's not working right that I have right here for the uh, um, IRIS or Gemesis monitor. Yeah, and it's not working. DD, I believe, is one of the monitors fairly new that they put in by the hotel, and that's this monitor here. Um, that's by Yellowstone Lake. And we got a small quake there. So they do know that there is one inch, uh, at least one inch of uplift in the northern uh, section of the caldera rim. And look how dirty that is. Now the uplift started probably in July of last year and is ongoing. And that's about the same time that the University of Utah changed their web page. And try and get data to download. Yeah, it's just it's very frustrating. Look at that. Very frustrating. Yeah, so much for uh, yeah having open source being uh, yeah um, open to uh, the public. What the heck is going on when they're not? They are not. It's even dirty down here by the river. Let me bring this over for you. Yeah. Now they're saying that this uplift is the same as what had happened back uh, during 1996-2004. And they were really concerned back then. Those that have followed me will remember me talking about that. Yeah, they were really quite concerned about the activity that was going on. We don't have any boots on the ground right now other than if they have uh, snowmobiles to get in there and they have to be brought in by uh, guides. They don't have free range to come and go as they please. Now the largest earthquake they have had in the last month was a magnitude 3.7. Uh, that was on the 29th of last month. 34 people said they felt it. It was given an intensity level of 5. And it looks like the farthest that it was felt was Cody, Wyoming. One person said they felt that. Um, 140 kilometers to the east. So that would be about 87 miles. Uh, the strongest, okay. Yeah, one report, probably someone working there at the park. Yeah, intensity level 5. Five means that there was damage, probably. Let me bring this over. Okay, intensity level five felt by nearly everyone. Many would have been awoken. Dishes, uh, windows, broken. See, things came out of the cupboards or off the walls. Unstable objects overturned. And let me pull this back over for you. It looks like that was probably close to Old Faithful. You know, that's where they got the hotel. So there's probably people there. And they reported damage. I'll give you a link to this other page. And it shows the uplift that is currently going on. 
each dot is one day of earthquakes. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can make that bigger or not. That looks to be the largest that I can make it. Let me try and bring it down a little bit so you can see the. Yeah, well, this one only goes back to October of last year. But yeah, the uplift has been going on since July of last year. All right, here's another um, GPS monitoring station. Let me see if I can. This is for the Norris Geyser Basin. Um, this goes back to uh, yeah the end of last uh, last year. Yeah. Once again, I'll give you a link to this. Well, I want to give a shout out to to two people who sent me PayPal donations. Thank you very much for thinking of me. You're that woman that ran into that ICE uh, police officer. She had over a million and a half dollars that has been sent into her, uh, I don't know what you would call her, her wife. Okay, she's married to a woman. Hopefully that woman will spend that money, a million and a half dollars for her children. Um, so, you know, when I hear about a million and a half dollars sent in for someone who deliberately tried to take the life of a police officer. I really appreciate when you guys think of me. Yeah, two donations. Sadly, that woman was not thinking about her family when she she did that and refused to get out of the car when the uh, officers tried to get her to go out. She wasn't thinking about her family then. But at least, uh, yeah, a million and a half dollars has been sent to her. Like I said, I hope her children get it. So I want to thank Maura and Marty for their $5 donation to my PayPal account. That was very, very nice of you. Thank you. It's been a while since I got any donations. I do get um, some people who go to my Patreon account and watch my videos for free. God bless you guys. Well, they're moving the camera again. Yeah. See, that's not as dirty. Over here on the uh, far right, the bottom of this hill. This is the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Um, there is a wall, a hardened wall of lava between uh, the Firestone River and this area here. They used to have a geothermal plant over here many years ago. But it, that wall of lava seems to prevent uh, the heat from uh, going into this location. So you don't see... Uh, the darkened steam over here like you do on the other side of the river, which is really interesting. Yeah, so if I'm, I seem a little uh, <laughs> dusty today, I am. I just hate the things that are going on in the world. It's just really frustrating when I can't get the data. I'm hoping tomorrow that it will be working, but for probably a month now, I've only been able to get bits of pe and pieces of the data from the live stream to download. Let me go back to that. So I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on with um, Gemesis uh, Stream View. I'm trying to bring this up here so you can see it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just more censoring. I hate it. I hate it. So thank you very much for watching. Here's the location for that 3.7. Um, those of you that have been following me over the years know that when they start having magnitude 2 earthquakes, how I think it was Hank Hessler, said that they would become very concerned. Here's Yellowstone Lake at the bottom. And up over here, um, and that's along that fault line that I often talk about. That goes into Hedge and Lake. Yeah, when you start seeing 3.7s and start seeing that dark steam, I'm a little concerned. God's in control. So, yeah, hey, uh, see right here? Yeah, right by the river, how dark that is there. Yeah. Anyways, thank you again for your support. Thank you for joining me on Patreon. Yeah, you can always jump over there and watch my videos for free. And if you wish to donate there, you can. Um, God bless you guys. Always be prepared for disaster. Um, please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.